Right. Uh, in terms of physical security, some more concentration on crime prevention through environmental design or septed. Now, um, there are uh, some general principles here um, that actually, you know, uh, extend to a lot of areas of, of security. Um, one is the idea of territoriality. Now, um, this is uh, the idea that people who um, uh, have a sense of ownership, have a, a feeling of home, um, are going to uh, be aware of people who shouldn't be there or aren't normally there and um, are uh, going to at least address them. Uh, so uh, you're in a you know, huge metropolis and walking down the street, there's all kinds of people. You don't care about any of them because you don't know why they're there. You have no right reason to know why they are there. Uh, you're not going to say hello to them, uh, so on and so forth. If you're in a small town, you, um, you know, you walk down the street, people will say hello. Uh, people will, will greet you and, and partly that's because they want to know who you are because you're new here you're you're different um, <clears throat> so uh, this in in terms of the company uh, means uh, in in social engineering terms you um, want to instill a sense of ownership in the company uh, if somebody is just coming to work in a faceless corporation with thousands of employees, they're not going to care. You know, they're not, not going to know if uh, somebody in the office is supposed to be there, is from another department, or has wandered in off the street. They, they have no idea. So, um, you know, and, and if they don't have any feeling of ownership of the company, they're not going to care. <clears throat> This comes in interesting ways when uh, we do things like outsourcing physical security. You know, we hire a company uh, with security guards and they do all the training and, and that sort of thing. And their security guards come in at night when our employees aren't there. They have no idea what the company does. They don't, uh, you know, we feel they don't need to. They've got no sense of ownership. Um, so... You know, the, the physical security in that sense um, is going to be somewhat vulnerable uh, because they don't care. It's not their company. Uh, they're not your employees. They're employed by a different company. Um, so you want to uh, try and instill that sense of ownership as uh, that. Um, now, in, in terms of territoriality and in, in terms of environmental design, um, you want to, uh, in a sense, have um, uh, landscaping, maybe, whatever, that um, indicates what is and is not part of the company. What, what is, you know, your property and, and what is not your property. What doesn't have to be protected. So, um, territoriality is an important concept. Um, now, uh, the second is surveillance. Now, we get into trouble when we go overboard in, in surveillance, and, and particularly when we turn the surveillance on our people uh, rather than in general. Um, an awful lot of managers seem to think that they've got to use surveillance to, um, uh, to control their employees, to, you know, manage, micromanage what people are doing with surveillance. Um, the, the point of surveillance, even surveillance of the employees, is that people know there is at least a possibility that they are being watched. So there is not um, uh, 
the temptation to do something bad because somebody is going to see you do it. Um, now, uh, you you want to be um, aware of the risks of, of over surveillance, um, but one of the aspects here is um, there are very few occasions where you want hidden surveillance. You want um, you know signs up. You want the cameras to be visible, uh, perhaps not accessible, but certainly visible. Um, you want signs up saying that there's video surveillance and that you know. Uh, everything is being taped and will be reviewed, those sorts of things. So, um, you know, that's, that's part of the surveillance thing. Now, um, was it Jeremy Bentham that, that did the Panopticon? Um, a uh, prison in, in which there was full uh, view of all the prisoners at all times. Um, and, you know, it, it was based on this kind of principle. You don't do anything wrong because people can see what you're doing all the time. Uh, so, the, the surveillance um, and surveillance considerations that arise from, from that. Again, you know, this is, um, this is not uh, what most people think of. You know, they think of walls, they think of fences and that sort of thing. And that's part of it. Um, but we, uh, an, an awful lot of SEPTED is in fact social engineering, uh, that we are, uh, making, you know, deterring, uh, people from even thinking about attacking us. Um, so now, uh, access control. Um, yeah, here we, we start to get into you know, fences and walls and, and that sort of thing. But there's other things you can use. Um, you can use, uh, well, you know, uh, what is a decorative lake in the landscaping if it goes all the way around the building? That's a moat. You know, that's, that is a barrier that helps to prevent people from even considering uh, trying to attack you in, in some physical way. Uh, um, landscaping, bushes, trees, shrubs, um, blackberry vines. I hesitate to say that. Um, here in, in BC, uh, we've got blackberry vines, and, and don't kid yourself, I mean, I have seen uh, those bushes stop a loaded logging truck. Um, but uh, I do also know that... Uh, the blackberries that we know as blackberries um, are in fact an invasive species uh, and the native species aren't uh, quite as forbidding. Um, but in any case, you know, uh, some kind of uh, landscaping, plants, um, uh, lakes, uh, well, ponds anyways, um, different things that you can use um, to make it difficult to deter uh, someone from attacking or even getting the idea of attacking you. And, uh, you know, all of that goes into crime prevention through environmental design.